Good afternoon to all your friends and assalamu alaikum to all your youtubers and hi to all. I am Umar Beg and today we are discussing about the chapter 1 of fundamental of computer. In our previous video we have discussed about the chapter uh, 1 the first generation computer which was about 1940 to 1956. In our previous video we have discussed about the which uh, to uh, uh, which was uh, tube was used in the first generation computer and uh, the points of the computer. We have uh, discussed that vacuum tube was uh, used in the first generation computer and we have discussed about the points which are uh, the two vacuum tube, the speed is slow and battery was small, they were huge in size taking up entire room. First generation computer was very expensive, they consumed a lot of power, the input was based on punch card, output was obtained on the print printouts or typewriter, electric typewriter, machine lo lang uh, language was used in this computer. So in uh, today's video we will discuss about the second generation computer which was about 1956 to 1963. So starting on, in 1947, three scientists William Shockley, John Bradin and Walter Bratton invented transistor shown in figure 1.10. So in 1947, there were three scientists uh, which were named William Shockley, John Bardeen and Peter Walter Bratian who invented the transistor. So here we have the figure of a uh, uh, transistor, 1.10 transistor. We can see that transistor function like a vacuum tube. It replaced the vacuum tube in second generation computer Transistor was faster, more reliable, smaller, and much cheaper than vacuum tube. So it means that um, uh, vacuum, uh, transistor was very, very good than the uh, vacuum tubes. Uh, it, it, um, its function was uh, like a vacuum tube, but uh, they were replaced by the vacuum tube. But they were replaced the vacuum tubes in the second generation computer. Transistor was faster more reliable, smaller and much cheaper than vacuum tube. The following are the characteristics of second generation computer. So in first generation computer it have also characteristic and it uh, in second generation computer it, there are also characteristics. So the first point is transistor were used instead of vacuum tubes. We know that in second generation computer transistor were used instead of vacuum tubes. Transistor reduce the size of computer and increase the speed on memory capacity. So transistors reduce the size that they were small in size of uh, computer and they increase the speed and memory of capacity memory and capacity. So the third point is computer became more reliable and cheaper. So the if the transistor was small, so it became the the, the computer became more reliable and more cheaper and small. Second generation computers use punch card readers, magnetic tapes, magnetic discs, and printers. So in gen second generation computers, punch card readers, magnetic tapes, magnetic discs, and printers were used. Assembly language was used in these computers. So in uh, first generation computer, machine language was used in the, uh, in the computers. In second generation computer, assembly language was used. High-level programming languages Fortran and COBOL were introduced in this generation of computer. So high-level programming languages such as Fortran and COBOL were introduced in this generation of computer. Example of second generation computer are Univac 2, IBM 7030, 7780 and 7090, NCR 300 series, General Electric GE 635 and Control Data Corporation CDC 1604 computers. So here we are about the second generation computer. So the third generation computer which was about the 1963 to 1971. Integrated circuit also known as semiconductor chips were used in third generation of computer instead of transistors. IC chips were developed in early 1960s. A single IC chip contained large number of transistors. 
Certain districts contain many number a large number of IC chips. It was developed in 1960. IC chip increased the power of decrease the cost of computer. Invention of IC chips was a great breakthrough in advancing computer technology. IC chips are shown in figure 1.11. So it means that uh, they were much cheaper, so the cost of the computer was also uh, become low than the second generation computer and first generation computer. So in our today's video, we have discussed about the second generation computer and third generation computer. In our next video, we will discuss about the third generation computer characteristics. So keep you waiting for us. Allah Peace.